And hello and welcome to part number 17 of my Let's Play of Planet Zoo. Alright you guys, so I just got a notification that this little miss and her sister are about to age up into adults. Which is very, very bittersweet I think. Because it's wonderful because that means that we can release them or send them to a new facility to breed. But at the same time we will miss them a little bit because they're beautiful. I mean, look at this child. Listen to her squawking. Behold her majestic floof. <laughs> oh dear. And I have some coffee with me now. So I am drinking that. Are you gonna go for a swim? Your last swim while still a baby? Oh, shush. You and Sissy go swim. You go swimming. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep, just keep, just keep swimming. Oh my. I can't believe that they're four years old already. That's insanity! I'm just hoping I can get some good conservation credits for them, because off-camera... I may have spent a ton of conservation credits getting a pair of bears. Just maybe. Mostly on her. Because she was expensive as heck for some reason, but... Oh well. Let's watch the baby tigers! In their last moments of their childhood! They're so cute! They're just swimming, they're just swimming, 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 swimming. Okay, they're gonna keep swimming for a while, I think. Just do your thing, ladies, just do your thing. I will keep watching the notifications to see when you've finally matured into grown up tigers. <gasps> Yay! Oh, that reminds me. Shaka died off-camera and well actually I filmed a little bit of it to show you guys at the very end of the last one because I'm sure some of you guys liked Shaka a lot I know I did and here is his um, predecessor replacement if you will but uh, I don't really want to think of him as a replacement but anyway this guy is here now and I have no idea at all how to pronounce his name, so we're just going to call him uh, Zhao. Zhao? Zhao? I don't know. I have no idea how to say his name, but he just got her pregnant and he's a gold star lion, so that will go well. And let's see, is she also gold star? No, she's silver, but they're likely to have gold star offspring, so that's good. And lots of them. Are they both taking a poop at the same time? Yes. <laughs> That's funny. Oh no, Chiku the Springbok is about to die of old age. No, beautiful Chiku. I love you so dearly. Who are you again? <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm sorry. And I know that you can set it so that the animals live longer, but I'm actually okay with the lifespan that they have by default, personally. Because that way, um, they die and they mature and stuff like that at the same rate as they would naturally, if you will, based on the way that the game's time works. So, I'm okay with it. It's depressing, but... Oh, God. Like I said, it's depressing. But, <laughs> it's okay. Oh, my tiger matured. You still look like a baby! How much can I get for you for releasing you to the wild? 650. Okay. How much can I get for you in the trade center? And what about your sister? Amaya. Oh, now you can tell that she's grown. She's beautiful. Guys, she's beautiful! How old is your parents? Oh no, Thompson's gazelle's about to die of old age too. No! How much will it give me for you? 
527 because you don't have as much fertility gene. Okay. Let's get 600 for Amaya and like 650 for her sister. Bloop. Okay, let's go to the trade center here. Let's see, trade you for 650 if I can. Oops, there we go. Okay, and then you. Let's try to get like 600 for her, if it will allow me. There we go. Okay, and we have our good cheetah waiting to go, and we have our gharials, and we have our bears. Who's over here? Oh, our Nile monitors. This one still needs to sell. I really don't think he will in the last five minutes, so let's go ahead and try trading him again. Let's try 65. Take him from me, please! I need the credits! <laughs> oh no. Now who's dying? This one. You don't look so good! Girlfriend, you don't look so good. Hmm. She looks pretty dirty right now. Like she just rolled in mud or something. Poor thing. Are you going to keel over very dramatically now? Are ya? Or are you gonna lay down and do something first? Oh, are you going to lay down and die? Because it said she's dying. Okay, she's at least not pregnant. So that's good. Because I've had pregnant animals die and it's the literally most depressing thing ever. Other than the actual babies dying. Oh! Jeez. Vet in route. Good. Oh no. Uh, my animals are dying. They're getting old, guys. They're getting old. Oh great, is she visible? No, she's not very visible. Well, she's kind of visible, but not very visible. That's... yeah, that is what it is. Okay. Let's see. Are there any species I could add to the African herd animal habitat that aren't already in here? I feel like I've got almost everything. We don't have African buffalo, though. But, eh, I don't know. Do I want African buffalo? Everybody wants a water buffalo. Yours is fast and mine is slow. Everybody's got a water buffalo. <laughs> oh, sure. Now there's females for cheap. I see how this is. Jerks. Okay. I got ripped off earlier when I got my bear. Oh, well. <sighs> oh, I'm adopting you. Dang it! I missed. Oh, that's really nice of whoever did that, though. That's really, really nice. Because I do want Baird's tapers in this zoo. But yeah, see, putting one up for that little was super, super nice of whoever did that. They're just trying to help a brother out. Or a sister. You know, whoever. Alright, let's build the Gauriel exhibit now. Let's go build the Gariel exhibit. And I don't know what they want other than crocodilian stuff. And just for the record, I love crocodilians. <laughs> I really do. I really, really do. Okay, this one's watertight, so we'll use this one. Mm, excuse me. The concrete. Ugh. Okay, let's put that like that. And this like that. They don't need a whole heap of room, so we're not going to give them a whole heap of room, but we are going to give them enough room, of course. 
I'm not mean and I have no desire to put animals in tiny little cages. That's just cruel. That's just cruel. Like seriously, it actually is an act of animal cruelty, just for those who don't know. Okay. There we go. Okay, the reptile walk over here is turning out pretty nicely so far. I can't wait to make this gharial habitat look good. It's not going to be spectacular probably, but that's okay. Okay, cool. Now, let's make this go all the way around here. Is there a height requirement for it? I don't think so. But let's double check that really, oops, wrong button, really quick. Oh, not the bears. I want the gharials. Gharial. There they are. Yeah, grade two, so this is an extra strong fence for them. Okay. Let's edit the barrier, make it so that it can be seen through. Do do do. Glass. And then this side, and this side will also be glass. There we go. Excellent. And now let's go ahead and put in some habitat signs. Before I forget that, because I don't want to forget that. I really, really don't. Okay, let's put that right there. And then this one can go right there for our gharials. And then the reason I made this out of concrete, when that's a little overkill, if you will, is because I really want to be able to put in a bunch of water for them. And it'll be easiest to give them plenty of water if they have a waterproof fencing type. And concrete is exactly that. It is waterproof. It won't let the water escape. Let's attach that, shall we? Why won't it attach? Oh my god. Can we just do this, maybe? There we go. Okay. Dun 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 There. That works. <laughs> Looks dumb, but it'll do. Also, let's copy this tree and put one right about there. Okay. Save the zoo. <sighs> Alright, now let's put in some nice terrain here for them. I don't know what all they like, so I'm just going to actually leave that for now. And what we're going to do instead is we're going to work on building them their pond. Okay, let's build their pond back over here. I want to make them a nice big one. Because of course they are crocodilians. They need to have plenty of room to swim. And they need to have most of their habitat be water. Because they are primarily aquatic creatures. There we go. Hopefully this will be deep enough. There. Alright, now let's smooth the edges here so that they can definitely get on there. There. Okay. Now let's put in the water. Boom! Okay, cool. Now let's put them into quarantine and get this reptile area figured out here. 
Hopefully these two will sell soon. And then next we'll be putting in the bears. Gaudios. 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 Yeah, from what I understand, they're actually pretty peaceful little things. I say little, they're actually huge, but you know. <laughs> and um, also, apparently, they eat just fish. So unless you're a fisherman, they don't really bother you out in the wild. But apparently lots of people are fishermen where they happen to be, because they, people, that is, like to kill them off. Which is why they are critically endangered. And I learned this from watching another YouTuber. <laughs> who happens to be geekism and is completely amazing. You should definitely check out his Planet Zoo stuff if you have not already done so. Oops. Come on, let's get these gaudrials through quarantine, shall we? Baruti! Oh no, he's about to die of old age. At least that means all of my females will be able to breed now. But that's sad, of course. We're gonna have to look... Okay, it says he's dead, but he's, he's nuzzling her. Simba the common ostrich is about to mature. Oh dear. Uh, Baruti? Was Baruti born here qu quickly before he dies? Yes, he was. He's about to die. Aww. Bye, Baruti. Bye-bye. Are you going to fall over dead? Or are you going to just grin at me? And be like, I'm not really dead. I'm the undead monkey. <laughs> or in this case, the undead warthog. It's the mysterious case of the undead warthog! Oh no! <laughs> oh? He didn't keel over. What the heck? Is the vet going to mourn him and it'll be normal though? I think so. Because it still shows that he's alive on this. But... The vet mourned him, so he's... he's dead. Okay. Huh. Poor Baruti. Let's see if we can find a new male to go in here. New male common warthog. Oh good! Yay! I think one of our tigers just sold? Or I'm crazy. Yeah, I think one of our tigers just sold. Let's see. Trade history is empty? That's strange. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, animal market. The credits aren't going in yet, though, so that's weird. Let's see, we are looking for... Oh yeah, there's a lot of animals we don't actually have in here. I don't think we have wildebeest either. Common warthog. I am looking for a good male. Ah, there's lots of good males. Uh, your longevity's not the best. How about you? Yeah, everything's green for you. I'll go for you. Okay. Great, we have a new male warthog. Let's move him into quarantine. Boom. Goes the dynamite. Or in this case, goes the warthog. <laughs> Let's hurry up. Oh, there's my credits. Okay. They were a little delayed in showing up for some reason. Hmm? Hmm. Salma is about to have offspring. Let's watch her have babies! Baby lions! Ah, little bitty lion cubs. I just finished my cup of coffee. Oh, yes. My word, she's a beautiful animal. Just like the real ones are. <laughs> 
It's too bad that this particular subspecies is so critically endangered. I mean, look at her. Isn't she lovely? She's so beautiful. It's such a shame they're endangered. Keep breeding, dang it! If only this were real life, with her breeding and get being pregnant and all that. Oh man. Let's see how many cubs she has, guys. I'm zooming out so we can make sure we see them. Because sometimes if you're too zoomed in, you can't actually see the babies being born. I hear the music. Oh, one cub. Hello. Hello, little doll. Hello. Any more? Two! Oh my god, they are conjoined! <laughs> oh lord, no! Any more? Or are you done? Based on the music, I think she's done. Yeah, she's done. Aw, she had two cubs. Let's see what genders they are. And she's older. Let's see. A male. And a male. Two males. Nice. We will definitely be selling them for conservation credits when they're grown. Let's see. Suma is expecting offspring now. Oh, heck yeah. Good. Let's see. This male ostrich has matured. How much can I get for releasing him? 38? Yeah, let's let him go. Bye, buddy! What about Simba? What about you, Simba? How much can I get for you? Do -do -do. 30. Yeah, we'll go for it. Good luck in the wild! Okay. Now. Quarantine passed by both Gariels. Let's get them out of there. Let's get them out of there. Boom, boom. Let's get them into their new habitat, which has no name yet. I don't have a clue how to spell Gariel off the top of my head. Uh, Zoopedia. <laughs> I know it's like G-H something. G-H-A-R-I-A-L. Okay. G-H-A-R-R-A. G-H. Gariels. There we go. Okay. Now, before they go in their habitat... Oh. Okay. We learned more about our Indian elephants. Hooray. Let's make sure that we have the work zones figured out. And that somebody is assigned to this one for the reptiles one. Okay, be assigned there. And then there's only one more reptile that I'm going to be putting in over there, and that will be the saltwater crocodiles. But I think over here is where I will be putting the bear. Either that or over here near where the tigers are. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Ooh, one of my Indian peafowls is about to mature. Are you a baby? You're a baby. You're a baby girl. You get to stay because you are cute. And I won't make diddly squat off of giving you away anyway. What do you mean quarantine is full, you liar? Tombovolo is stressed! Tombovolo! My angel, don't be stressed. It's okay, honey. Just grab a random guest and sit on their head or something. That'll make you feel better. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Everything has been researched except for transport rides and the Arctic theme, apparently. Eh. Let's see, I wonder if my cheetah female is able to reproduce anymore, actually. Uh, Uma? Is that you, baby? No, that's our new boy. Yeah, he doesn't have a mate. Mid-America Animal Park, huh? Okay. Where's Uma? Uma! Uma! Where are you, honey? Mommy's looking for you. <laughs> oh dear. 
There she is. Oh, she's over here. Uma! Yeah, I think she's too old to breed anymore, guys. That's a crying shame, because she's gorgeous. But she's had three boys, so... So she's doing good. Let's pause this so we can get a good screeny of her. That's my Uma. <laughs> she's so cute. Oh yeah, and just so you guys know, it is actually possible not just to make it so that it takes longer for them to age, the animals, but you can also completely disable that feature entirely if you really want to, so that you don't have to deal with them croaking on you and breeding constantly and all that stuff. But I like dealing with that, so I leave it in. Now let's check on my Gariel situation here. I hope they don't want shelter, because I don't really have room for shelter for them. <laughs> I kind of built them a big pond. Kind of. Oops. Okay. My new warthog is ready to go in his new habitat. Let's move him to his new home. Good. Delivery scheduled. Awesome. And the Gariels weren't in there, so I can assume that some caretaker somewhere is running with them in their boxes. At the speed of lightning. Yep. I was right. There they are. Aditi! Hi, Aditi. What do you think? Aw, you're cute! I love crocodilians. I personally find them adorable. And yes, I know I'm extremely strange and that most people think that they're hideous, but I'm not most people, okay? <laughs> I like them! Wow, the male is absolutely enormous compared to the female. Dang. Okay, habitat. Gariel. Okay, do they need shelter? Let's see, please tell me they don't. Okay, no they don't, good. They're very happy with how much room they have. They just need more rock, and other than that, they're fine. Okay. Painting. Rock. Small. There we go, now they're happier. Okay. Do they need any plants? Yes, they do. Okay. Aquatic, tropical, and temperate. We'll go primarily aquatic for these guys, for obvious reasons. At least what I hope are obvious reasons. <laughs> okay. Biome. Let's see. Temperate, tropical, and aquatic. Okay. Let's give them... Um... What should we give them? What should we give them? I do not know. Let's definitely give them some rocks, though. I like rocks, yeah. They are good, yeah. They will fit anywhere. And they'll look good. And if you know what this is from, you're awesome! And even if you don't, you're also still awesome. <laughs> okay, let's put that down the ground. Oh, I don't like the way that looks now. Go away. Okay. Let's put in some tropical rocks here. Come on, tropical rock. Tropical rock. There we go. They can climb all over that if they want and use it to bask. Okay, now to go to plants again. And then filter it by continent once more. There we go. Let's put in this blackthorn bush. See what they think of that. Hello. You need enrichment. Yes, I know. We also need more plants, in general. Uh, 
Can I put in like banana palms and stuff? I kind of don't really like the look of that though. I want to put in something different-ish from what I've been putting in every other habitat. Let's put some bracken over here in the corner. And a blackthorn bush can go right over here. Let's see, is there a taller one? That's tiny. That's also tiny, but that'll do. Let's put some random bracken over there. There we go. They want more plants still. Okay. I can arrange for that. I can do that, no problem. Let's see, sycamore maple tree. That looks cool. Let's put that one in there. And let's put in another one back in this corner, I guess. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now let's see what gardening stuff we can put down. Let's try the elephant ear plant. And some more of that by the tropical rock. And some of this fern. So yeah, they can have a really lush habitat, you guys. So I'm gonna go kind of crazy here, I think. I hope you're all cool with that. And if you're not, well, you need help. Because clearly this is amazing. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me, darlings. Don't mind me. There we go. I'm gonna put that up against those rocks like that. And let's see, is there any room over here for, let's see, more rocks perhaps? Another tropical rock. And a cladding rock. Cladding rocks are always good for decorating stuff. Okay, Asia. Let's put in some fern, some elephant ear. Let's put that like right there. And a little bit of nettle. And some more nettle over there. And a bit more here just for some good luck. And let's put in a little fern down there. Okay, what can we do about this giant, ugly, empty pond? Hmm. Is there anything that will float on the water? Or that will go like partway in the water? Yay! Good, we can use the lilies. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna use the lilies for certain. Let's pull these up. Oops. Let's get them perfectly straight here. There we go. There we go. Let's put more water lilies over here. Down on the surface, right like that. Are those lilies kind of floating up? Yeah, they are. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit X twice. And we're going to make them go down a little bit. Just a bit more. There we go. And then pull them down. Like that. There we go. And then let's duplicate that and pull them up so that they're just above the water. There we go. Let's save that. It's not the most lush thing in the universe, but it looks pretty good, I think. So we're going to leave it at that. And we're going to go ahead and grab that. Why is there no power? That is odd. I will have to fix that. There is no power. Huh. What the heck? Is this dying? Are you dying? No. Uh. 
Oh, there's just nothing over here. Okay, well then. I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, put that, like, right there-ish. And make it so that the staff can get to it. Okay. Let's get it as close as we can to the Garial wall here. And I know there's a button you can click to make it so that it snaps to the barriers, but I don't really feel like using that at the moment. There we go. Especially because it doesn't work particularly well with some of these situations like that. Okay. Now, let's give our Garials some food and some enrichment, because they are not particularly thrilled with this here. Is there room for a mud bath, or did I completely take up all the space they could have used for a mud bath? <laughs> Oops. I did not know. I did not know. Let's put that there. They kind of have a tree in the middle of their mud bath, but, you know, it'll be okay. Uh, let's put this flower over here. And move this tree right next to the mud bath. There. And now the mud bath doesn't even look weird. That's good. Let's get rid of that rock, though. And that one. We'll just leave this rock in there for now. Okay. And there are some things that they're going to need. They're going to need this blood-scented thing. And they're going to want to have this prey-scented sack that they can play with and eat from. And let's see this rubbing pillar. Let's see how close I can put it to the glass. I can't put it very close at all. Dag nab it! Can I put it by the tree, maybe? Why does it say it's obstructed, I wonder? That's weird. Okay, I'll put that right there, and maybe I can move the tree closer to it now? Yeah, I can- WHAT THE- <laughs> That was not normal. Let's change the colors of this. Let's make it dark green. And gold. I like it. Let's see, what else enrichment can I give them? Uh, I can give them a ball to play with. That's cute. And of course they like water a lot so they can have this little water jet thing. And let's put a sprinkler over here for them. And let's put a large tray for their food right over here. Perfect! And obviously they have water. And let's see, is their water going to be clean though? Let's see, your range is 60. Let's check on the heat map. No, it misses it entirely. Okay. Let's put in a new one of these right next to this thing. Uh, why does it say it's obstructed? That's weird. Hello, thingy? Hello! That's very weird. Let's see if this will work. Oh, it's backwards. Let's turn it around. Come on, turn. There we go. Path. Okay, that works now. Can we make this work? Yes. There we go. Okay, good. That's good. Okay. Yay! Now let's put down some donation stuff. Okay, let's put one of these right there. Oops. And then another one over here. Not like in the fence. Game. But next to the fence, yes! Let's put this one right there. 
And let's put this one. Oops. Let's put this one right over here. And another one right there. And another one over in this corner here, just to be safe. This area right there where I'm mousing over should be extra good now. It should be completely covered. It should be just fine. Great! Now we have Gariels! Hooray! And in the next part we will be adding in bears. Okay. You two want to get, like, off of each other? Okay, thanks. There you go. Poor little girl, she's just, like, sitting there like, HELP! <laughs> Let's see, we need to have 4,700 guests in the zoo. 10,500 a year in drink profits. And adopt and place two different exhibit species. Oh my god, they're so little. She's so little compared to him! Oh, we're about to have offspring from the lioness. More baby lions! This is a lion breeding center now, and I am perfectly happy with that. I am very pleased with this. This pleases me. You gonna lay down and give birth, girl? Ding! There goes a cub in the background. You can lay down? Okay, there she goes. Good girl. Let's see how many babies you have. Please pop out three or more. Please? And please have at least one female and then like the rest males. Yay, a baby! Baby! Baby number one. Seriously, just one? Oh, okay, two. I can handle two. We'll be okay with two. She's pretty young. Was she born here? Yes, she was. Okay. Yay! A male, gold's ranked. Excellent. And a female, silver ranked. Okay. The female will, of course, get to stay. And the male will be sold once he's old enough. Awesome. Alright, guys. So I will be seeing you all in the next part where we will be adding in some bears. What's wrong with Tom Bavolo? I do not know. He is stressed out for some reason yet again, as usual. That is his life, it seems. He is always getting stressed out for some reason. <laughs> My little lemur man. But yeah, I will see you all then, guys. Have fun on the end screen. Alright, I'm going to be ending this video here. I hope that you've all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a like, leave a comment, and to use the links on screen in order to subscribe to my channel, support my Patreon campaign, and check the links in the description in order to find other ways to support me, such as following me on social media and joining my glorious Discord server, Raylunil's Army. I hope to see you all there and in the next video. 